the swing gave us the view of these tall buildings that reach up to the sky to embody how small we truly are. Griffith Park nearby, a pair of llamas, sentinels in the emptiness of spring, streetlights slowly without traffic, just a motorcycle whisking by. Masked like lost characters in a barren desert, stiffening air from a few feet away, exhaling fear like yesterday. Stars aligned during daytime, names irrelevant to the list of lost ones. We have never been as close as before by being so far apart. How does isolation feel when there's no one else inside? Feckless driving kapag ako'y nag-iisa sa mundo. Making chairs with no one to visit. Preparing bangus or munggo, tinuruan mo akong magsaing ng kanin. Burning pandesal sa almusal, washing it all down with your tenderness, just the way you held me at night. Midnight hikes to stairs that never end, navigating the landscape of my body and solitude of the 101. Temple Street to Normandy, Venice to San Gabriel Valley, there are no sirens or helicopters, just a symphony of hummingbirds, cherry blossoms in tears, and coyotes that swing at night. See you soon, Ma. I love you. My U.S. passport safely packed. Why do I get sick before leaving Manila? The dreaded journey to the airport. I can meet you anywhere except home. Travel is prohibited. In a year, we'll meet in England. My first trip to Europe, a dream. Beyond California, beyond the Philippines, you set me on a course. Europe has become home, but not for long. Vi aspettiamo in California. Today, you and I live in a Europe without borders, yet travel is prohibited. This time, there is no ocean between us, no visa required, but the invisible force confines us. Io resto a casa. My sister in Manila, my brother in Okinawa, each of us in our own sea. Please stay well, all of you. Travel is prohibited. We know the pain of being told, no, you can't go. Stay where you are. Familiar items in the market. Colomba, Uova di Pasqua. Easter is almost here. Family separated, but for how much longer? I pass my favorite little garden, the one without a name, full of trees that change with the seasons, enclosed by a fence of black wrought iron and concrete. It is never open. Is anyone allowed? The fence tries to be beautiful, boasting elegant details, but it exists to divide. Borders, La Frontera. I think of California, my birthplace, the beautiful garden beyond the fence. I think of immigrants, their children, Americans, every one of us. Turin is so close to the French border. Migrants who braved the Alps on foot risked survival in order to survive. Rejected by Italy, they had to venture early to avoid getting trapped in the winter snow. Pairs of pants worn several layers thick to keep warm. Some never made it to France, their bodies discovered in the snow. Memories of such tragedy intertwined with living in Europe, the suffering so near. We can see the mountains from Torino. We promised our little one a ski trip, mountains representing something so different, tourists, holiday, beautiful fresh snow. Time is running out, a promise melting away as spring days bring warm weather. Vibrant leaves fill my unnamed garden. I remember my aimless walks, my daily landmarks, ever aware that Turin would be mine. 
only for a moment. Today, I live in the virtual city. At home, I have a chance to reflect and rest if I let myself. Soon, we will leave. Summers punctuated by your embrace. See you soon, Anako. Light streams into my bedroom window. Through my childhood window, climbing grapevines, a robust lemon tree, the side of a building today, an ornamented brick wall, and sunshine. I delight in the warmth and illumination. I embrace early spring. I hope this ends before summer. Soon the city will come alive once more, and pristine streets and clear air will be marked with signs of life. When travel is no longer prohibited, we'll be together again, all of us. Saan ka man, saan ka man, naririto ako, hinahanap, hinahanap kita aking mutia. Saan ka man, saan ka man, ay kasama kita. Sa puso kong nahihiya pa rin sa aking anak. Halika na't nakikita kita, huwag nang umiyak. Nandito na ako iyong ina. I'm so happy to see the palm trees and their parrots. These friends, these signifiers of life. They've only gone missing once, and that was a bad time. Pa agosto del 2017, yo recuerdo cuando desaparecieron los topes de los árboles, y el guacamayo lloraba porque también había perdido su hogar. I love the roof and how it holds our lifeline. Power, check. Water, check. Calm, check. I remember when the treetops disappeared. You could see the rainforest from the rooftops. Not anymore. This isolation has me keeping score, comparing it to the first time we felt alone. We felt afraid. Éramos más, pero todavía teníamos miedo. Should I compare? Should I keep score? I like to ask myself a lot of questions. Pienso las cosas demasiado. But then a feathered friend flies by, and I'm just so happy to see the trees and know the birds are all right. A surreal dream lulls me to sleep nowadays, like a lullaby of memories cascading down waterfalls like mind-made movies. I've longed for my life to be cinema-worthy, seeing every moment as a scripted image, imagining what it would be like to be captured, thrusted into the lens and projected across the night sky. Now 
finally I am captured. Trapped in the confines of a self-made camera, the lens so close it can barely see anything. Nothing but the minute details of my skin, the shattered glass behind my eyes. My past feels like a time lapse, and yet this moment falls upon my chest in slow motion. I can't tell if it's real or not. Does it matter? Will it matter? Time rarely slows these days. The tapping of information cracking holes in my forehead, penetrating the frontal lobe of my perception, hitching a ride down the occipital vein into my chest, my grasp of language still too elementary for the feelings that it prompts, and so my blood vessels boil, the steam with nowhere to go builds up hot to the touch, but my mind's learn not to burn itself, just like my body's learn not to see itself, where am I? Where am I going? Sometimes I feel as if the earth is spinning some 17 times faster, as if the centrifugal force of existence overthrows my handle of gravity and I'm hurled through life like a dislodged star, not shooting but falling, caught in the currents of fictitious fantasies, chasing some pre-scripted future like a caricature of myself. Self-isolated and unoriginal, longing for the sweet kiss of conformity. And yet the further I fall, the more I long for the ground. I dream of it sweeping me up off my feet and spinning me around like some cinematic romance where everything's solved, perfectly packaged and bow-tied. But there's no more questions and all the answers. I can't tell if it's real or not. If I really miss the past or I'm just scared of the future. I wonder what I feel. I wonder what's next. I wonder if we'll find the answers we're looking for. I wonder. I wonder.
my children. Our generation's summer of love was the time when the days finally got warmer and the trees began to blossom on empty streets, empty, save for our love songs and prayers and spirits spilling out from the windows. Behind our eyelids, the band is still playing. Before those days, we used to hold hands with strangers. Our naked lips used to kiss like butterfly wings. We used to gather in the hundreds and thousands to worship in places called churches and theaters and played the kinds of songs that still lift our souls today. The songs that made wine taste sweeter, that made us want to make love to each other. We couldn't get enough of it. I waited for him, right outside the tube station in Camden Town. When he arrived, there were tufts of gray hair on his shoulders. They had fallen like the days of the calendar. Don't worry, I said. I don't need a gift from your long, hard days. If you can come home to me with your longing intact, that is more than enough. Where are you going? Where have you been? That year, in 2020, the magnolias bloomed in January. Spring is the cruelest season. The sky surfeited on, blue as a bruise. Haven't you heard? I don't want to know my mother and father. Untie me from the earth. Let me fly like a little balloon. I want to be another element altogether. My children, I won't repeat here the story of my life. Because in another universe, it is always last summer. We are still on that mattress in the middle of the Atlantic, his head on my breast, the black curls of his hair between my fingers the second hand of time pinning us together like a needle. But last winter, we didn't think we would make it either. The cold wind passed through our lungs like cheap whiskey. Wherever we went in the house, we couldn't get warm. I spent those long hours on the floor, naked skin against linoleum, counting my ribs, wondering if it would ever end. But I promise, one day, just like a dream, the doves will return and the women will change out of their mourning blacks when the winter is past. You will see him walking home from over the hill and the gray strands on his hair are just the morning dew. Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, but don't awaken love until it's time. How can I protect you from the evils that are to come? The floods and plagues and the sorrows you will have to overcome once I'm silent and buried in the ground. Even now, I carry it everywhere, like a letter in my breast pocket. But no, my darling, nothing ever ends cycles on and on through the ages. Behind the veil of winter, summer awaits you like a banquet until you feast on it, until you go hungry again.
मैं एक बार पत्थर थी वंस आई वॉज अ स्टोन हुई पियद्रा these days of dance creating something new Santa Fe and its empty streets are 10 minutes away but these months weeks my world has been this house this view of the sangre de cristo mountains gone is the persistent urgency to do more be more 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 everyone has stopped and i have stopped too and every day i rise and apprentice myself to what i love ta 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 and suddenly in the middle of a pandemic discipline has become beloved My Bharatnatyam teacher Aparna tells me an old poem in Sanskrit that begins Sabha Kalpatarum There is a divine tree says the poem that gives whatever you ask Theater is that tree learning and dance are the branches and flowers Like bees those who love art come to the tree Some days I long to be in a small mountain town in Spain. Today I was meant to have left to go there. There is such sadness to think of all that has passed, all who have passed, here and there, and I wonder how we will make our new journeys. This is not my song. It was first sung when flamenco was young or old depending on where you start the story lekin mai ek baar patthar thi once i was a stone and i lost my center e mai rokha ron al mar once i was also a stone and i lost my center and they threw me into the sea and after a long time my center came back and found me Hello. What's your name? Where are you from? What color are you? And your neighbors? So, are you edible by any chance? 
In a world where face-to-face -face communications are avoided and feared, I only get acquainted with plants. A few weeks ago, I read a book titled Shokubutsu Zukan, Field Guide to Plants, a romance novel in which the protagonist meets a boy who introduces her to wildcrafting. Where can I find a plant-loving and cooking boyfriend? I have no idea. But I started meeting new plants right away. And suddenly, my boring commuter town became a botanical wonderland. Yukiyanagi, Nayokusa Fuji, Harujion, Imokatabami. How have I not known these beauties that decorate spring sidewalks year after year? Without seeking attention, they bloom, wither, wait, and repeat. Even the most celebrated flower of all, Sakura, slipped away while we stayed home. Every season comes without a fanfare and goes without a farewell, completing the cycles where they first landed. What a way to be. I've been to many places and had so much freedom, yet I've always questioned what I was doing. Now that I'm stuck in my room, I can finally take a good look at my life. What I have, what I can do, what's always been here. I can be a teacher, a singer, or fighter instead of a wannabe. I'm learning to find my ground from my well-rooted friends. If all else fails, I can be a tiny page of Shokubutsu Zukan. I stocked up at the grocery store today. I got all the essentials. The frozen pizza, bread, the milk, cereal, hot dogs, assorted sandwich toppings, tissue, and the wine. I chuckled a bit because every time I go there, I'm the only one who looks comfortable. People have started to avoid each other like the Black Plague. I guess even in isolation, I'm confronted by my blackness. It's clear to me that these people in grocery stores have never had someone cross the street before they cross your path. They've never looked over their shoulder only to find someone examining their every move. They've never been stared down by an evil eye and a face twisted in disgust. These people don't know how to be unbothered. They haven't had the years of training. I see the eyes and feel the stares, but they don't concern me. Business as usual. I walk down the aisles that I want, pick up what I think I need, and take my time. Those people are concerned with everyone else, but I never had to be. You don't need to avoid people who have it in their heads to avoid you. A pandemic doesn't change that. It just expands it to other races for a change. So I'm chilling. I got a pair of washed hands, food in my fridge, and Netflix on my team. Probably gonna do something stupid like
become a quarantine rapper. <laughs>
you must have felt the same way as well at some point. Like I, I feel like you must have thought the same things and and maybe just on a grander intergalactic scale like you you feel or you once have felt just like I feel now. And uh, um Because of that, I, uh, I don't know, I just really hope you come back, man. It's been so long, and it's really hard out here, man. You have no clue. I just feel like nights keep getting lonelier and darker and I just want to make the days disappear like I'll smoke or just do whatever to fill up the time even if I'm trying to convince myself it's all productive work. It's almost hard to believe you were ever here in the first place. A lot of times I feel, I don't know. You ever, you ever think about whether or not you could have done everything you've done a little differently? And whether or not each individual action done better would really result in a sum total that was like, better as a whole. Cause it probably doesn't work like that, right? Like it doesn't all just add up like that. So in a way, you couldn't really blame anyone for any singular fault or misstep. It's kind of just interwoven in a larger narrative of collective growth. It's the plan, right? I'm sorry, I'm just rambling now. I miss you. And the way I used to feel your presence is starting to fade. I'm not sure why that is. Alright, man, I, uh, yeah, I'll call again another, you know, some, some other time. Thank you.